Beautiful, isn't it? The owl or the view? Both. The view's amazing. The owl, well, artificial things never did that much for me. It's a flawless replica. We used a real one as a model. Owls are extinct. Who told you the model was real? Dr. Terrell? He's wrong, or lying. Check your Sydneys. Eldon wouldn't make up something like that. You're Tyrell's assistant? Yes, I'm Rachel. Dr. Terrell is very busy. I'm fully familiar with all Terrell operations. He does know I'm a cop, right? Blade Runner unit? Dr. Terrell has already met with one Blade Runner today and has important business to attend to. Your department should coordinate its efforts better. Yeah, but... You may speak to me, or you may leave. I can't offer you any other choices. Fair enough. I wanted to ask about Marcus Eisendeller. I can't tell you who killed him, if that's what you're asking. We've already got a suspect. What I want to know is why the killer would be interested in replicant DNA information. That's a stupid question. Oh yeah? Why's that? Your suspect is obviously a replicant. A very dangerous one. I thought replicants were safe. More human than human. Isn't Dr. Tyrell pushing to make it legal to use rep labor to clean up the kipple? Are we here to discuss corporate policy or Marcus Eisendeller's murder? A little of both. You heard about the moon bus hijacking. Yeah, I guess you would have. Fifty people dead. You can't blame. I'm surprised you aren't out doing spin control. The public gets nervous when your pets wander around the city without a leash. Replicants aren't pets. Right. Pets live longer and don't go around killing people. They... There are safeguards in the design. Yeah, I've seen the data. Implanted memories of four-year lifespan. I'd probably get a little crazy too, but I don't think I'd start killing people. Wouldn't you? Your floor number, please. McCoy, 88F. 88. Thank you. Excuse me. Rachel, right? We met at your uncle's office. I remember you, Mr. McCoy. You live here? I didn't know we were in the same building. No, I... I'm visiting somebody. Who? Maybe I know him. Perhaps it's none of your business. Okay. I get the picture. You all right? You look a little pale. I've certainly had better days in my life, but I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Interesting guy, your uncle. Quite a character. I don't think he'd appreciate being called that. Oh, I'm sure he's a brilliant man. Anyone who could create a Nexus 6, the state of the art of rep technology. He's keeping people like you employed, isn't he? Hey, I'd just as soon not do this job. Do you really expect me to believe that, Mr. McCoy? I saw that look in your eye. You'd like nothing better than to kill innocent people, isn't that right? Replicants aren't people. But they certainly are more innocent than most of the people I've ever met. They didn't ask to be brought into this world. Nobody does. That's right. And nobody has a license to hunt down and kill humans, isn't that true? Uh-huh. But replicants, how humane. Goodbye, Mr. McCoy. Isn't this your floor? You take care of yourself. Voice print identification. Your floor number, please. Decker, 97. 97, thank you.
I waited. Let me go. What do I need help for? I don't know why he told you what he did. Talk to him. He wouldn't see me. Your floor number, please. McCoy, 88F. 88. Thank you. Where's Maggie? Where's my animal? Step off, motherfucker. Ain't no Maggie here. She was here last night when I left. You got the wrong place, Jack. Hey, man, I live here. I don't know what you're speed loading, and I really don't care. Now you got two seconds to mosey along. Wait a minute. I got no problem icing you if that's what you want, Jack. Your floor number, please. Lobby. McCoy. Rachel. Remember me? Jesus, I don't know what I remember anymore. Now you look like you're in trouble. You saw me here before, didn't you? Yes. What happened? It's suddenly as if I didn't exist. As if everything I knew and, and accepted is gone. And my animal, Maggie, my prized possession, disappeared. I'm sorry. I know the feeling. You do? Everything we believe, those things we call reality, well... What is reality? Maybe it's all someone else's fantasy. That would make us a fantasy. That's right. And in the blink of an eye, it can all go away. But just yesterday, I... Yesterday? Two months ago? Ten years ago? What's the difference? But if we both remembered... Copies. Only copies. The only thing we can trust is right now. Not tomorrow, and certainly not yesterday. No, I'm not losing my mind. Someone is trying to mess with me. The police are saying I'm an escape replicant. Someone must be setting me up for some reason. Using me. There's nothing wrong with accepting what you are. I'm not a replicant, goddammit! Look, maybe you can help me. You're Tyrell's niece. You can vouch for me. Why don't you just take that Voight Comp test? That would settle it, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll do that. I hope you get the answers you're looking for, McCoy. <laughs> <laughs>